NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new, more mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. And all these little dots are stars? All these little dots are galaxies, uh, some of which are bigger than our own. Breaking news. We may have just found potential evidence of intelligent life beyond Earth. This is a huge discovery, and we think that it's a huge discovery. And that's the most exciting piece of this, of this telescope, of this remarkable instrument we put in space, is finding things that we didn't expect, that we can't explain, because that means that we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Well, JWST is so phenomenal that if you spend enough time, you could probably find any galaxy that ever formed uh, in the universe. It's really that powerful. Pluto is a distant and covert, more humble planet that was once a part of our nearby planetary framework. However, ongoing pivotal statements by leading astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with a dazzling revelation. They suggested that this icy world is on a potential impact course with Neptune. Yet how could this happen and what might be the consequences of such a titanic event? Are we witnessing an intriguing cosmic phenomenon, or is there something more to this looming celestial disaster? Join us as we explore the plausible outcomes of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, a former planet that was later reclassified as a dwarf planet, remains a subject of interest and focus in the vast universe. According to ongoing estimates from leading experts, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's. Astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised alarms about a potential catastrophic collision between these two planets, which could pose a significant risk to Earth. But how is such an event even possible? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike that of any other planet in our solar system. It takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even completed one full revolution. However, the intrigue doesn't stop there. Pluto's orbit is marked by its unusually elongated shape, straying significantly from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more remarkable is its inclination, tilted at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. This extreme path adds layers of complexity to its orbital behavior. One of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For about 20 years in each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect based on their positions in the planetary system. This raises the natural question, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational interactions of other planets. The study of Pluto's orbit began soon after its discovery. Initially, astronomers struggled to understand its unique path. Unlike other planets, whose orbits lie relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's orbit stands out with its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities is evidence of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves determining how three objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, move and interact with each other through gravity. It's like predicting where they will go based on their initial positions and mutual gravitational pulls. In Pluto's case, this problem illustrates how its orbit, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity all work together intricately. Terms like non-synchronous libration, orbital precession, and VZK oscillation are crucial in this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is non-synchronous libration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned around 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is critical in preventing their orbits from overlapping. Orbital precession, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a body in its orbit. For Pluto, this means that when it comes closest to Neptune or another giant planet, it is positioned far above their orbital plane, adding an extra layer of protection from potential collisions. Another key factor is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers who studied how objects move in space. 
This gravitational interplay explains why Pluto's orbit is so irregular near the Sun. Despite its seemingly erratic path, this oscillation helps Pluto maintain a steady course over long periods. The VZK oscillation shows that even though things in space may appear chaotic, certain patterns and principles keep everything in balance. These factors ensure Pluto's orbit remains stable, preventing it from colliding with Neptune or veering off course. The three-body problem is essential to understanding how these orbits change due to the gravitational interactions of space objects. Studying this helps us learn more about Pluto, our solar system, and even distant worlds and their stars. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that despite these stabilizing properties, Pluto's orbit is inherently unstable, with minor changes in initial conditions leading to massive differences over millennia. However, these peculiarities in Pluto's orbit have been found to maintain stability over incredibly long timescales. Monitoring this chaos has been crucial. Recent automated evaluations have helped us understand how giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's orbit around the Sun. Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto, where for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's orbit stable. However, Neptune isn't the only planet at play. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role in stabilizing Pluto's orbit and Saturn contributes as well. These studies show that Jupiter's immense gravity is powerful enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable path for a long time. Thus, Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn seem to work together to ensure Pluto continues to move safely through space without running into trouble. These peculiarities are vital in maintaining order and stability in space. Without these elements, the solar system as we know it would be a far more chaotic place. Bodies like Pluto could collide with others or be ejected from their stable orbits, triggering a chain reaction with other celestial bodies. For Pluto, particularly with discussions about it potentially colliding with Neptune in the future, understanding its orbit is crucial. This provides a clearer picture of the dynamic nature of the solar system. The case of Pluto demonstrates how even the most seemingly unstable orbits can reach a state of harmony through the complex interaction of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also underscores the importance of continuous observation and study of these phenomena to better understand our place in the universe. Investigating the depths of space often leads us to confront the peculiar nature of celestial bodies. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of the unpredictability of orbital chaos, which refers to the delicate dependence of a celestial body's orbit on its initial conditions. In Pluto's case, this means that even slight changes in its position or velocity can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Using virtual simulations has been immensely helpful for scientists in understanding how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematics to model how Pluto and other space objects like Neptune interact gravitationally. By tweaking small details in the simulations, space scientists can observe how even minor changes can greatly affect Pluto's eventual path. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Despite having features like non-synchronous libration and orbital precession to keep it stable, Pluto's orbit can still be unpredictable and chaotic. If you start with even a slight difference in Pluto's position or velocity, its orbit could look entirely different after just a few years. Yet, even with this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable over extremely long periods, like billions of years. This essentially means that Pluto's journey around the Sun has a kind of order to it, even amidst apparent randomness. However, it appears to be turbulent from the start. Foreseeing divine occasions, particularly when they involve whimsical circles like Pluto, is an enormous test. The inherent eccentricity of these systems means that long-term forecasts are often filled with uncertainties. While numerical models provide phenomenal tools for understanding and foreseeing the future paths of heavenly bodies, they also highlight the limitations of our predictive abilities. These models rely heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions, and any small mistake or distortion can lead to vastly different outcomes, making precise predictions a daunting task. Besides, the turbulent nature of planetary orbits like Pluto's reminds us of the ever-changing dynamic nature of the universe. 
while we have made colossal strides in understanding space, Pluto's case reminds us of how much our knowledge of the universe remains limited. Understanding the gravitational effects of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides significant insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and position of each planet can significantly affect the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. So, why are leading astrophysicists recently raising concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune? Despite all these complex forces working to prevent such an event, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist and a key figure in advancing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, particularly the fascinating case of Pluto. Tyson, known for his role in reclassifying Pluto from a planet to a dwarf planet, provides insightful views on the evolving nature of celestial mechanics and the public's interest in the overlooked realms of space. Tyson's position on Pluto's reclassification is based on the ever-expanding knowledge of our solar system. He sees the reclassification not as a diminishment but as a significant change in alignment with our growing understanding of the many bodies orbiting our sun Tyson's approach to celestial mechanics is one of continuous learning and adaptation. He sees the complexities of orbits like Pluto's as a reminder of how much there is still to discover in space. The fascination with these questions keeps space exploration so captivating. However, despite Tyson's confidence, his thoughts on Pluto's potential contact with Neptune present a different picture. His concerns about the future of Pluto's orbit suggest that there could still be more mysteries to uncover. Will Pluto collide with Neptune, or is this just another moment of confusion in the ever-changing universe of space? Only time and further investigation will tell. For now, we are left with a deeper curiosity about how little we actually know about our own solar system. We continue to study these celestial phenomena in the hope of uncovering more of the mysteries that lie beyond. The possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision raises yet another question about the enigmatic and mesmerizing universe in which we exist. The potential for a collision between Pluto and Neptune raises fascinating issues about the dynamics of the solar system, as it challenges conventional interpretations of planetary stability. That two celestial bodies with such vastly different properties could collide is both unsettling and intriguing, especially considering the current relative stability of their orbits. Given that Pluto is situated in the outer reaches of the solar system, far from the major planets, and Neptune is itself a gas giant with a strong gravitational field, the implications of such a collision would be enormous for our understanding of gravitational interactions and the evolution of the solar system. To comprehend the dynamics of a potential impact, one must first consider the structure and properties of the two planets. Pluto, despite being a dwarf planet, contains a variety of elements and compounds believed to exist in a frozen state due to the extreme cold of the outer solar system. Its surface is covered in nitrogen ice, and it has an atmosphere made mostly of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide. In contrast, Neptune, a massive gas planet, is primarily composed of hydrogen, helium, and other lighter elements, with a deep, dense atmosphere. A collision between such disparate bodies would inevitably affect their structure and behavior, potentially creating an event visible across great distances. What makes this hypothetical impact particularly striking is the influence of other planets and bodies in the solar system. While Neptune's gravity plays a dominant role in keeping Pluto's orbit stable, it is not the only factor at play. The presence of Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, is another key component. Jupiter's massive mass, powerful gravitational field, and gravitational torque provide a stabilizing influence on Pluto's orbit, preventing it from straying too far into Neptune's space. Saturn's gravitational influence further complicates the dynamics of the outer solar system, making it unlikely that a catastrophic event will occur between Pluto and Neptune. The study of Pluto's orbit, as well as its potential interaction with Neptune, highlights the complexity of planetary dynamics in our solar system. The primary concern among astrophysicists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku is not just the possibility of an eventual collision, but how such an event could be influenced by factors beyond Pluto and Neptune themselves. The gravitational interplay between these two distant planets is heavily influenced by interactions with the larger, more massive bodies in our solar system, particularly Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter's gravitational field with its enormous mass, 
acts as a buffer, exerting enough force to keep Pluto from straying too far into Neptune's orbit. Without Jupiter's stabilizing influence, Pluto could potentially drift into more erratic paths, increasing the chances of a collision with Neptune. Saturn's role, while often overshadowed by Jupiter's gravitational strength, still provides subtle adjustments that help maintain the balance of the outer solar system. These two giants, alongside Neptune, work in tandem to ensure that Pluto's orbit remains predictable despite its irregularities. Without these forces at play, the solar system's outer reaches could become far more chaotic. This careful balancing act of gravitational forces across various planets also highlights the broader implications of planetary evolution. Over billions of years, these forces have shaped not only the orbits of smaller bodies like Pluto but have also influenced the overall structure of the entire solar system. For example, the migration of gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn over cosmic time is believed to have played a major role in the orbits of transneptunian objects like Pluto. These migrations may have altered the trajectories of many other bodies in the Kuiper belt, contributing to the overall stability that we observe today. Despite the apparent stability of Pluto's orbit, scientists remain cautious. Numerical simulations and ongoing observations continuously refine our understanding of these celestial mechanics, showing that even minor changes in the position or velocity of a planet can lead to significant changes in the long term. Although current models predict a stable orbit for Pluto over 